Mrs. Donovan's third grade class is gearing up for one of their favorite activities. It feels so good to do it. It's, wow, I don't know how to explain. It's called free to play. Through a series of instructional videos, students systematically develop their physical prowess while learning about the body's functional abilities. The program is, is set up in such a way that it follows a specific routine and order, which is good for kids, good for human beings. They know what to expect. Each exercise starts off focusing on a certain plane. What plane of motion do you want to use first? Transverse. Transverse? You want to start with transverse. Okay. From there, their virtual coach demonstrates the correct course of movement and teaches them the benefits of using the proper form. When you move, it helps get some of your muscles and joints to move. And if you don't move those muscles and joints, like every now and then, when you actually need to move them, they get sore and lazy and kind of fall asleep, and they can't go as far. Three. And they're not slouches. They vow to do it every day. Sometimes in the madness of the day, I might forget to scoot free to play into a little piece of our day, and I might forget, but the kids never forget. They always remind me, Mrs. Donovan, we haven't done free to play yet. While the kids are excited to get up and move around, it's not their sole motivation. We get to learn a bunch of sign language. That's one of my favorite parts. Every lesson ends with a different word or phrase in sign. You are awesome. And it also helps us wake up what? Our brain. Our brain. What? Usually we do a math test after it and I'm like boom, boom, boom. There's 64 in grading. I would always get 64, 64, 64. In an age when almost everything costs money, this program stands alone. It's free, which is really wonderful. So my children can take the, what they've learned home, introduce it to their parents and families, uh, by sharing the link. Reporting for ABC 10 and CW5, I'm Rick Tarsitano.